Hello everyone, welcome to this new tutorial of the course MRI Preprocessing Techniques. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about templates and mask. So first, what is a template? A template it is a brain image of reference of how an ideal brain MRI image should look like. So these templates are usually used to standardize raw images that are acquired from different sources. There are some available. We're going to use the MNI152 template, uh, which is a very popular one. I will leave you the link to download it. We also have mask. So a mask, it's simply a binary image that delimits a region of interest. We already have seen that a binary image it contains either 0 or 1. The masks are usually used to wipe out irrelevant regions of an image and keep only the region of interest. In this case, we have a brain mask in the first image to delimit only the brain tissue in the image. If we overlap both, we can see better the region that it is covered by the mask. This is the right side image. So, a mask can be to delimit any region. Usually, there are masks that delimit only tissue of interest such as a tumor or a lesion. In this example, we have a mask for a brain lesion. The mask itself doesn't make too much sense, but if we overlap both, we can see the regions covered. So let's see in the code how this looks like. We start by loading our dependencies as usual, defining our base dear variable. We load our template image, uh, but now this is located in the assets.templates uh, folder. We load it with antspy. We do the reorientation and let's see the image. So this is how it looks like. As you can see, it is a well-shaped brain and the intensity values looks okay too. This is what we call a standard. So now let's print the basic information to see what it is inside. As you can see, it looks pretty much like any other image that we have loaded before with Anspy. So now let's load our brain mask. Our brain mask it is in the same folder as the template. And we load it in the same way as we do with the template. So let's execute and let's see how this looks like. There we go. So as you can see, we have a brain mask of the template that we just saw. It looks well shaped too. So now let's compare the information of the template and the mask. So here we have the basic information of both images. We can see that, for example, some items such as the dimensions are the same. The spacing is the same too. Also the origin. And the same for the direction. So this is a common feature uh, of masks they share the information of the original image. Okay. So now let's learn how to mask the brain. This is the process where we use a mask and the raw image to generate a new image containing only the brain. We already have seen how to do masking. If we go to our bias of correction notebook, Remember we had the log bias field and we masked it with the head mask. But now we're going to do it with ants. So we're going to use the function ants.maskImage. We pass the image we want to mask and the mask. And this should give us the, the result. We're going to use the explore through the array comparison function to see the result. So we execute. Now, if we see the after version, we have kept the region 
only the region that we are interested in. Explore a few slices and we have kept only the region of the brain. So this is the result of masking. So this plot works ok, but sometimes we want to see only the contours of the region delimited by the mask. For that purpose we have this new function, explore 3D array with mask contour, that it is defined in the helpers model. It takes the numpy array of the image to mask and the mask. So we execute this and looks pretty good, right? So now we have the contours over the raw image. So now let's review the same process but for a tissue mask. So we have an example of a brain lesion uh, image. We load it with Anspy as usual. Then we load the tissue mask. We follow the, the same convention as before and we plot it. So it is a bit hard to make sense of this image if we compare with the brain mask of the template. So here is where the function explore 3D array with mask contour comes to be very useful. As you can see now we have the raw image with the contour of the brain lesion of the mask. So we explore a few slices and we see how it's very, it's very convenient to use this function. So that's it by now. Now you know what it is a template and what is a mask. Also you have learned how to mask a region of interest using a mask and how to visually inspect the region delimited by the mask. So let's continue in the next video.